All right, welcome back. So we're going to do another uh, cigar uh, review today. Um, and uh, I was trying to figure out which cigar to smoke. And, you know, I got some of these interesting ones. I know I did a video on the Coldwell Lost and Found. But I went to uh, a store that uh, specializes in these. And they got some real interesting ones in uh, this antique line and these from a secret stash and i think they're uh, all similar tobacco and of course here's some of the other caldwells um, and so i'm gonna pick one of those smoke it and talk a little bit about uh these these last two lines this uh, secret stash and antique line but uh before we do let's uh, take a look at a, a boot check here so this is my uh uh jb hill is uh, for those boot collectors uh, know a real uh, uh, boutique boot shop in uh, in Texas and uh, pretty cool. These are Cayman, uh, real comfortable, really uh, nice uh, nice color, nice pattern. But uh, and then later I'm going to do a, a review of a new watch company called Zealous. So if you're interested in that, take take a look at that. So I already pulled out of the humidor, and of course, those who have seen my other videos, I know it's the Euro Cave, uh, probably the best home humidor you can get. Uh, expensive if you can find those uh, on a marketplace or something. It's uh, really a nice, nice deal if you can get relatively uh, less than retail. But anyway, so let's take a look at these. Uh, first, this antique line. Um, these, uh, you can see there's only 50 boxes. I think that's what 50 total means, a 50T. Uh, these say uh, Colorado C. So uh, that means Colorado Claro. Now, for those that know the Davidoff line, uh, Colorado Claro is probably one of the best of the Davidoff cigars, if not the best that Davidoff has. I'm looking to see if I've got one here. Yeah, I've got a Davidoff Dominicana, but I think I've smoked them all. They're, the Colorado Claros are just fantastic cigars. Um, now, are these actually Davidoff? That's a question. And so some of the uh, mystique behind the uh, lost and found is who, whose cigars are they? Who do they belong to, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it's a good marketing ploy because they'll say, well, you know, these... These were picked up uh, by Caldwell, uh, you know, his secret stash, and maybe they are Davidoff, maybe they are Cuban, even, you know, who knows. But uh, so it's some of the marketing, some of the lure of it. Uh, I would say I've smoked this um, antique line. I'll, I'll pull some out here. Um, and I don't think they're Davidoff. You know, they're really good. I'll say they're really good, but um they didn't match up with the same type of flavor or profile um and, and even the wrapper is a little bit off i would say so so you know maybe a colorado claro but i don't think it's a it's a dab at all but um so if we look at the uh the back of the box here we're saying this is a 2017 uh dominican colorado claro uh filler dominican um, binder Dominican, origin Dominican. He's found 200 cigars of these, and as it says, extremely rare. Really good. I've smoked some of those. I I uh, I really enjoy them. They're not cheap, so you know I I'm I'm thinking these are around 15 bucks or more, 15 to 18 bucks a stick with for a small stick. So certainly not not cheap. Um, this, this other antique line that I, I picked up here, this is a box 44 of 200, a box of 10, Corona size, a little bigger uh, than the Robusto that I had there. Um, so these are um, Habano Ecuador or Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Peloto seed binder and a Dominican filler found in Dominican uh, from 2016. And uh you know again these are these are good um sometimes you know aged dominican tobacco i really enjoy so i i um 
I think that uh, it's it's hard for me to say which ones I enjoy better. I I would say you know you can kind of look at the wrapper, a uh, little bit of different color in the wrapper there, not not too much, but uh, um, both of them are good. Um, I don't know which one I'd like better. I think I like them both really well. Uh, but then you come to this secret stash, and they came in the same time and Caldwell secret stash and here these are 2010 and they're they're bigger the 54 ring gauge um, six inch and um, Dominican and again uh, um, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper um, looks like Indonesian may I you know a binder Dominican uh, maybe Nicaragua filler so, I don't know who these are. There's 700 of these cigars found. This is uh, a pack number 7 of 70. And, uh, you know, to give you an idea on pricing, so this, the, the price was on there. And so, these were, for the box of 10, were sixteen seventy-five a cigar. So, not not cheap by, by any means. Um... And then you kind of compare that this is some of the other Caldwell line here that I may have talked about before. The One Night Stand, uh, I've, I've dug into that one pretty good. Um, those are, doesn't have a date on them, but uh, Dominican again. And uh, you can see the price on those, so it's about 10 bucks a stick. Um these are a smaller one night stand, about seven dollars a stick, and uh, no, no fancy label on those. But that's what these are here. You can see, and these are really good. So I think a a, a pretty good deal at seven bucks a stick. Um, a little stronger. Somebody asked me about the uh, Buck Five Cubra, and I thought these are really, really uh, a good cigar, good for the value too. And uh, you can see that cigar that's a little darker. And I thought really a flavorful smoke. Uh, here's some of what I have left. This is kind of the the uh, the, the main one here of uh, the Coldwell Lost and Found series. Um, this is a 2016. And, and uh, this is uh, um, pepper cream. So pepper cream soda. So that that's uh, sort of was their most popular one. I would say it's it's a really good if you can get your hands on it. It's a really good cigar. Uh, the Matildos Bistardos was okay. A um, little disappointed in that. Um, the uh, chocolate pepper cream. I, I I think it was really great. No no a label on that. I still have a number of those. They're bigger cigars. I thought really good. Again another. Another one of the uh, lost and found a different. Uh, you know what? I, I'm wrong on this. This is the uh, this is the the uh, supreme cream of the uh, uh, pepper cream soda, and this one, sorry, goes with the lost and found. So, um, and and another, I don't know what this one was from, but it was a Caldwell series, and then they had some cheaper ones called Candy Corn, which are actually pretty pretty good cigars. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to light one up, and uh, after kind of looking at all of them, um, you know, I'm going to look at these uh, this antique line here, and I've kind of given you an idea of the the uh, Colorado Claro. So let me let me take a look at this one here. This this one I kind of forget how much I liked it or not. Um, this is again the. Uh, so I will focus in here and move the camera again. Um, Antique line 2016, lost and found. And again, this is the Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Peloto seed, Dominican Republic uh, from 2016. Now, I will say my favorite one so far of, of these out here today is this 2010. And I don't know if that's coincidental to the aging process or... You know, it's just a better cigar. But so let's take a look. Uh, this it's a, this is a it's a relatively small cigar. Corona. It's a true um, 
Corona size, although it's strange that that's it. Yeah, it just doesn't. Uh, yeah, they got <laughs> that. They trick you. They trick you, right? They got a wooden piece in there, so it makes it look like you're getting a a bigger stick, and really you're you're not. So I, I'm not thrilled about that. That's a little deceiving there, from you know standpoint of uh, how big of a cigar you're getting. Um, so anyway, trying to focus here. It's focusing on everything else, but uh, you can kind of see the wrapper and and. Uh, Maybe. Well, anyway, it's not not tremendously oily. Um, a uh, uh, medium brown, I would say, on on the stick. Uh, let me zoom out here a little bit, and then we'll uh, have a seat, and I'll fire it up. So, get the antique line. Um, I've never had an issue with the construction on these, the draw. It's always been really good, high quality, no issue. Um, you know, the it, it, these are all well made. I don't see any uh, problem in the wrap. Um, I'm going to try this new vertical lighter I got from uh, my friend at the cigar shop. It's, Different, uh, different design or big. So, so let's see what we got. So nice, smooth, smooth cigar, but it's got a little bit of uh, punch to it. I can tell the Peloto seed, I think that's a Cuban seed. I'm not 100% uh, sure, but it this certainly has a Cuban um, flavor to it. Easy draw, uh, fair amount of smoke. Yeah, but the flavor, I, I've been to Cuba several times and got cigars there, and, and um, this definitely has that type of flavor. Maybe not quite the creaminess of a typical Cuban. But a nice flavor, I would say, no more than a medium uh, at the outset in terms of strength. The aging process really helps the, the smoothness of it. You, you've got no, no bitterness, no aftertaste, uh, no harsh pepper. And I'm not even sure if there's any pepper at all. And it, uh, Dominican tobacco, you know, I think we, Nicaragua is typically stronger and uh, can be a little harsh if you don't get a really good high quality tobacco. And Dominican has a different flavor. And if you get a good mix, you know, sometimes Dominican can be too, too mild for a lot of people's taste, but this is a really nice Strength-wise, middle of the road, maybe a little bit less. Um, good flavor profile. Earthy. Not real good at describing all the flavors like other people on these... Uh, Reviews, I, you know, I'm more of a smooth, harsh, uh, bitter, um, peppery, non-peppery type of guy, and in, in, uh, in, uh, like like it or not type of uh, cigar. And uh, I 
good cigar. Uh, is it great? I wouldn't say it's a great cigar. Um, I, I do think I like the Colorado Claro a little more. And then, like I said, I, I, I think the one in that, that 10 pack wrapper, uh, was even better, probably the best of, of the, the group, uh, maybe because it's a little bigger. Um, I'll show you those real quick and then we'll wrap up here. But yeah, that secret stash, if you can get a hold of those, that's my recommendation of, of this bunch and there's no no wrapper on the secret stash or sorry no label in there but it's uh, a really good cigar a little bigger in size so there's daisy all right well if you want to hear a little more about how the rest of this cigar turns out take a look at my uh, watch video on zealous i'm going to continue smoking this and do a review of the watch and until then, we'll see you soon.